Hey, what is up everyone? This is Ken here. Welcome back again to Tekken YouTube channel. This is Dub Festivus based on Android version 12 is finally out with the first look which is in our hands. It might be available for your device also. It might not be available for your device. But let's just talk about the Dub Festivus things or customizations or features what you get in this build. First of all, we're talking about the Dub Festivus version 12. Of course, I'm talking about the official version. Official version. So yes, all the things or almost everything might be same with your device build also. It has a November later security patch, which we are talking about. And yes, of course, it's based on Android version 12. If you're able to see if you're seeing the colors right now, at first, you can see I have a red ASIN color available. But right now, the wallpaper is black and blue, so the colors could be different one, but we have the different colors. Yes, this is a very good thing in the festivals, which you can customize. First of all, in the battery section, what I saw that you have the option to reset the battery stats, which is actually quite useful. I always use this feature in my other customs. I don't charge my device up to 100% sometimes. So yes, I need this battery stats to so check out the battery stats right now. It's good. Let's just straight away talk about the features which you get here or UI dub space which means has all the customizations which you need status bar quick settings panel which has a lot of course customizations related to quick settings lock skin shortcuts and ui not major customizations but good enough i think so last but not the least we have the option to customize the system customizations which means theming etc which i will talk about with you things are quite same here let's just talk about all these features or customizations in a brief first of all for example the battery settings if you're able to see i've applied the battery bar and you can see at the status bar we have the battery bar available for you which reminds me of resurrection remix i've used resurrection remix a lot of time ago that was based on android 7 android nougat and that was great with this kind of customization scary label it does not allow you to set the carry level at status bar it's it only allows you to use at lock screen so yes a little bit disappointing clock and date settings of course show seconds which i always use on my device that's also present so the useful features which everyone needs is there status bar icons which you want in a status bar which you don't want in your status bar the option is available for you sometimes i don't use the mobile data icons at status bar so i always hide those icons i've already had them in my other device right now network traffic options of course present here for you you can see at the status bar things are working fine some miscellaneous options or customizations includes a volt icon enable disable Dubface logo which is enabled at left, at top left. We also have the brightness option available for you. Adjust brightness by sliding across the status bar. The features, some features might work for you, some features might not as it is still in early stages. So just don't just expect the stability as much as soon as you can. Quick settings, photo warnings is also there. Quick quick settings pull down. Some other options includes the show brightness slider at bottom, which is good, and including that some lock screen customizations where you can customize the lock screen left shortcut, lock screen right shortcut. It's up to you if you want to customize these things. UI related settings, lock screen charging info is quite useful. That's also present, including the show media art is also there, and including that we have some music visualizers, music visualizer settings are also there. If you want to customize these things, you, you can. You can see if you want to enable this, you can by moving into music visualizer option and you can enable these other options. So something like simple customization things. This is not about feature. Feature is music visualizer, but customization includes automatic color level and these are called customization. So if you don't know what is the difference between customizations and feature based room, I will make a video on that one too. So make sure to subscribe the channel for those things. Customizations. Here comes the customization section. This is called theming basically a theming so if i disable this as you can see the colors are now changed these are now kind of blue because the default wallpaper is something like that so if you don't know android 12 has the feature to implement these colors whatever wallpaper you have applied the colors is and color everything will be changed according to that color but if you want to enable this use custom color option you can choose your own color which is actually quite useful as for some of the users like me General settings, toe step icon, charging animation, some things if you don't want charging animation which was introduced in Android 12, you can simply disable this option is available here for you. Now security tab also includes the fingerprint and pattern etc. Of course it still does not include the face unlock, it still does not include the app lock but we may get it very soon. 
including that the derp in, including this derp festival is octavio is also here with a lot of customization so stay tuned and make sure to subscribe the channel for that video that is coming very very soon coming out on our channel everything else is same you can see his fingerprint is there encryption is also there it's just for my device by the way it was just device specific thing here you can see the default UI default launcher. I think so. You already got that. It it should be it it was it was expected to be Pixel launcher, but it is not. It is actually Duffest own launcher, which has some customizations for you, which is almost same like Pixel launcher. If I enable this option, device and app notification to the Derp launcher, you can see this is Derp launcher. It is Duffest own launcher. They modified it. Show now playing, add app icons to home screen, enable wallpaper zooming and some cool features for you. That's good. I think it's far better than Pixel launcher, at least for now. I don't know how it performs as daily usage, but it should be. It is looking good here. Other options or other customizations or other features, whatever you want to call it. We include the quick settings customizations here. Quick settings customizations, as you can see, Wi-Fi and mobile data had a separate tiles available for you. Of course, you can customize these things if you want to. The every option is present and the edit icon if you want to check it out. Even you are able to see the brightness slider, you can simply get the brightness slider in quick, quick settings panel like this. This looks quite good, by the way. For example, if you want to enable any other extra tiles, I can simply click any tile and it will be it will be stay there and like this you can see here you don't need to drag and drop these tiles it's just up to you this is how these things are going on location hotspot reading mode etc whatever you want to get that icon get the get those tiles in the main tile section main quick settings panel it's up to you heads up screenshot whatever you want to use it's up to you everything is good here I think so these are some cool customizations or features about quick settings panel so if you want to customize these things you can screen recording option is also there but does not come with many extra features for you like you can you can see in other custom rooms where you have some better customizations better features for you while screen recording so those features are unfortunately not there it also does not include the launcher 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 has some bet better options better customizations it does not include that Let's move on to the display settings here. Let me show you. You have the option to choose the refresh rate, show the current display refresh rate, which is of course not a that much useful feature, but it's there, so it's up to you. Wake on plug, I always use the feature turn on the screen when connecting or disconnecting a power source. Double tap to wake, of course, is there. I'm not talking about the bugs here, by the way. The features are there. The bugs depends upon which device you're using, which device I'm using right now. Depends upon a lot of things. Now moving on to the gesture section here we have some customizations for you some features for you for example the system navigation includes the back height and low height and sensitivity both of these options are here for you so this is actually quite useful they didn't include the full screen immersive gestures things yet but yes they might include that because these things are added so those things will be added very soon one-handed mode as expectedly it's also there i always use one-handed mode to show notifications but not for one-handed mode actually so it's up to you whatever you want to use swipe to screenshot is also there which is just working perfectly fine it should work uh, perfectly fine in other devices also and yes includes the google markup option where you can edit this screenshot if you want to you can even delete the screenshot directly right now from there playback control and including that advanced restart double tap to sleep or whatever you want to use this is all from today's short and simple video about dub festivals if you want to give it a try link is in the description thanks for watching and goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through the air